A word from the producer. In response to great uh, public concern, I'd just like to reassure you that uh, tonight's program will not feature the uh, former Prime Minister, Mr Malcolm Fraser, uh, in his new role as a media pundit. In fact, there'll be no uh, former Prime Ministers at all. Uh, unless, of course, Harold Holt happens to get in touch, in which case an exception will be made. Well, thank you very much. Friday News Review with Brian Hambone. Good evening, Liberal leadership horror crisis. And opposition leader Andrew Gucci reacted angrily again there, as usual. From Canberra, Peter Gravy. Fireworks, dancing girls, free beer, holidays in Queensland are just some of the exciting attractions the new Liberal President John Valium is offering to get back into government. Well, opposition leader Gucci was shocked and horrified. Look here, Max. Uh, the name is Peter, actually. Well, you can try and put words into my mouth, Max. Well, no, it's Peter. There you go again. Look, I know you've got a show to do, but this is serious. I'm the boss. I'm in charge. Right? Me. Okay? <laughs> but we don't want anyone to find out. I mean, if the voters realize, the game's up. Well, what about Mr. Valium? Well, he's on a learning curve. I'm afraid it's a downward curve, right? Thank you. Meanwhile, South Pacific shock as the nations of the region agree on a nuclear-free zone. George Fungus reports from Tufalufa, Offa, Lafufa, Offa. Here in this palm-fringed tropic paradise of Tufa, um, Tufa, um, too hard to pronounce, uh, Fiji and New Zealand, New Guinea and uh, Vanuatu, have all agreed not to develop the hydrogen bomb or the cruise missile. Come as a great relief for the Russians, I can tell you. Meanwhile, when he returned to Canberra, former folk legend Bob Hope explained the nuclear free zone treaty shock. Ah, uh, yeah, well, uh, uh, the idea came to me, yeah, uh, some enchanted evening, eh? Uh, he can, uh, uh, you can uh, call me a uh, cock-eyed optimist, but, uh, you know, happy talk uh, keeps the natives contented, eh? Eh? All right? Eh? 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 What's, what's all this, eh? Eh? Uh, it's the meat workers dispute. You've come back to the meat workers dispute. Yeah, well, uh, yeah, I can see you. Uh, see the stakes are high, but uh, there's not much yeah. chop in that, eh? eh? The Prime uh, Minister uh, uh, is expected back to normal as soon as the holiday feeling wears off. George Fungus, uh, too far, um, too far, too far, oh, all back to you, Brian. Thanks, George, and back with more right after this break. An important announcement from Australia Post. Good evening. At Australia Post, we have really got our act together. Our postal service has never been faster or more efficient. Our hard-working Australia Post staff have really got things humming. And our customers, you, the taxpayers, have never been happier. Just here, I have a letter from a very satisfied Australia Post client. Let me read it to you. Oh, um, well, it's, uh, I had the letter here a minute ago. I seem to have lost it. Oh, well, it'll probably turn up sooner or later in a week or so. Funny that, it was priority paid too. More news from Australia Post when it arrives. Welcome back, and now all their news and spot. And here's Rox Messer. Thank you, Brian. Good evening, and uh, thank you, Brian. Adelaide, and uh, frankly, I was flabbergasted, flabbergasted with you. I have it on uh, very good authority. They are planning to revive a traditional old uh, South Australian sport, the Torrens River 100 metres men's medley relay. A great old classic event fixture. Uh, they line uh, all the poofs up on the banks of the River Torrens on Saturday nights and uh, chuck them in. Sort of a uh, sink or swim event. Uh, they lose a few, of course. Well, those who make it to the other side graduate in the traditional Adelaide way to running restaurants or becoming wine writers. <laughs> and this is what I'll back to you, Brian. Thanks, Rox. The way it is for Friday, August 9th. Please don't stay away from the Torrens River if I was you, sir.